Hi, I'm Mark Rogers, Christian Gun Owner, here with you today to talk to you about the question, when will you be ready to carry your handgun? When will you be ready to carry a pistol? No, that's not about when you want to, it's about when will you be ready? When will you, like anybody, be ready? There was a point in time where I wanted to carry a gun, but I wasn't ready. <laughs> I wanted to, I wanted to put that gun on, I wanted to have it on me, but I wasn't ready. I had to prepare for the time when I would actually tuck that gun in and carry it with me out in public. That's what we're going to talk about today. When will you be ready? This is not to discourage anybody from carrying a concealed handgun. I'm, my prayer is that people will see something like this and really dig in and get ready and be ready to carry a gun in a short amount of time as possible while still going through all the basics that they need to be sure that they can do that safely and not become a hazard to themselves and other people around them. I am an advocate for everybody in America carrying a gun no matter where you live. I don't care what, the, you know, the... <laughs> I, I don't advocate for people to break the law, but it's time for people to quit getting shot because they're obeying the law. Uh, one of the, before this, just before this uh, was, was filmed here, uh, one, of the, one of the lead headlines was a, at a Walmart in Virginia, one of the employees, a team lead, on uh, night duty, working overnight, uh, just walked out without saying a word and shot and killed six of his co-workers and then killed himself in the break room. It doesn't matter where you go in America today, thank God, we are, thank God America is free. Thank God that our Constitution, our Constitution protects our freedoms, including the right to keep and bear arms. But those protections of our freedom do not necessarily make America a safe place to go if we don't exercise that Second Amendment freedom. You can make up your mind on that for yourself, but all you got to do is read the headlines every day. We're reminded that people that are unprotected go out into a world out here where with all the millions of law-abiding gun owners, the few maniacs that will pick up a gun and shoot somebody with impunity and kill without conscience is always present with us. We rub elbows with them every day. So let's get ready to carry a handgun. What makes you ready? When will you be ready to carry a handgun? I can't tell you how many people that I know of over the last, say, the three years that, that, that COVID has been in, in effect here, <laughs> how many people have gone out and bought guns? A number of people have come to me, had me help them work through getting on target and handling their gun, and then go put those guns up and they haven't done anything with them, they haven't carried them, they haven't even shot them again. And every day, people are getting killed. We see it in the headlines every day from just somebody picking up a gun randomly, a drive-by shooting, some random shooting, a robbery, or a mass shooting where somebody just kills without thought or conscience. What makes you ready to carry a handgun? And I want to encourage you today to begin this right away. If you're somebody who is not carrying a gun, you've got a gun or you're thinking about getting a gun, get that gun, but get ready before you carry it. I've got three guns here with me today. All of them have the magazines out. They're all cleared. I'm in a safe area of my home. When I point my guns, when I put my finger on the trigger in here, when I pull the trigger on it, it's pointed at brick walls. Everything in here is safely done. What I carry, what I carry every day, about 80% of the time for my own personal self-defense, is this right here. That's a Smith & Wesson shield and a Kydex inside the waistband holster. I carry it in an appendix position right here. It can be carried on the hip. You can carry these in a belly band. You can carry them in a sticky holster. You can carry them in a, an undergarment that will have a pocketed undergarment that has a holster in it. All kinds of ways you can carry them. But the main thing is that everybody who carries a gun get ready before you do it. Prepare to carry that gun before you can take it, stick it in a holster, and go out in public with it loaded ready to fire. So what do people need to be ready to carry a handgun? Well, when I prepared to, be, to carry a handgun, the first thing I did was I made sure I knew how to shoot. <laughs> I did take the gun out to a range and to, out to places where they were safe to shoot. I had a friend or friends with me. I had people watching me shoot. I asked them to watch me shoot, tell me what I'm doing wrong, tell me what I'm missing here, and watch as I went through the process of preparing and learning to shoot and getting on target. Having somebody help you, somebody knows how to shoot helping you, is a big deal. But here is the biggest deal of all, and that is safety. Safety and being able to handle that gun just like this in every scenario and do it safely 
is what's critical. If you can't pick up a gun off the table like this, look at my index finger right here as I do it. Every time I pick that gun up, I'm not having to think through that. Every time my index finger picks that gun, every time I pick that gun up, my index finger. If I lay it on this side and I go with my left hand, it's going to be the same thing. My, my index finger is going to be down the side of that gun. That's automatic. I don't think through that. That's from doing that hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times. Practicing it over and over and over to make sure that that finger stays the same on that gun no matter where it comes from. Picking it up over and over. You think you don't have to practice that. I watch people all the time. I work with people on ranges. I see them pick up guns and the first thing they do, remember these guns are cleared. <laughs> They're pointed towards brick walls. But the first thing they do is pick up and that finger goes right in here. Some worse than others. Some, I can tell them, all right, get, get your finger off the trigger, and I can tell them that a few times, and they get it. Others incessantly stick that finger in and out of that trigger guard. They're, they try to get their grip, and their finger's going in that trigger guard. They, they, miss the, they, they miss something on the target. They drop it down, their finger stays in the, in the trigger guard. If you cannot 100% of the time keep that finger off that trigger, out of that trigger guard, until you're ready to shoot, you're not ready to carry a gun yet. That finger is the key, is that, that is the key element in not shooting somebody, shooting something, shooting a dog, shooting anything around you that you don't mean to shoot, is keeping that finger off the trigger, no matter how many times you pick it up. Next, racking a slide over and over and over again. Watch this. Now I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rack the slide that's the way you rack a gun slide, not like this. You don't pull it back and slowly let it back down. That's the way you rack a gun slide, right there. Or over the top, however you want to do it. But wherever you do it, that finger stays off. If you go to a gun range, if you go to a gun range and you put your finger in the, tri in the trigger guard and do that, you're not ready to carry a gun. If you practice at home with a cleared gun and you start racking the slide and your finger goes in that trigger guard, you're not ready to carry a gun. That finger has to stay off that trigger. It cannot go in here. Remember, I'm pointing it at a brick wall right here. The house is cleared. I'm in a safe room. That finger has got to stay off of that trigger, out of that trigger guard, no matter what else you're doing. For people who have practiced extensively doing the things that I talked about just a minute ago, racking, 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 picking the gun up, picking the gun up, picking the gun up, racking, racking, and keeping that finger off the trigger, going out to the range, learn to shoot, have somebody watch them. you got those things down. You've practiced. You've done this hundreds of times. You're comfortable with the gun in your hand. You're comfortable with it on the range. It's not time to stick it in a holster and go carry it live out in public because the next thing is coming out of a holster with it. Now, this is, a, this is a range holster I use right here. It could be used for concealed carry with a coat, but I use inside the waistband holsters for almost everything I do. You can use a tight belt holster, but whatever kind of holster you're going to use, however you decide you're going to carry, or if you decide in multiple ways, every one of those ways that you're going to carry, whatever holster you're going to use, practicing coming out of that holster is critical, but not just coming out of the holster. Coming out of that holster with what? Your finger off the trigger. This finger right here is the greatest hazard of new shooters. They come out of, they come out of a holster, they come out of a holster, finger on the trigger, ready to shoot. No matter, it's, it's ready to shoot here. When they come out of that holster, it's ready to shoot here if you don't watch them. Coming out of the holster over and over and over again, a few hundred times learning to come out and instinctively come out with that finger off the trigger over and over again and reholstering reholstering the people ask a lot about well you know how fast do I have to reholster you never have to reholster fast and in anybody learning to use their holster don't need that nobody needs to start out being a speed demon the main thing is to do it right to get it Finger down the side, come up with it effectively, get your grip on it. Finger down the side, now finger on the trigger, ready to fire. Back in the holster, looking down at the holster, 
and making sure that you're not muzzling your leg when you put it back in. Hundreds of times is not too many before you holster a gun. So here's how it all comes together when people are ready to carry a gun. They go to a range multiple times, not just once, multiple times. Go to a range multiple times. Go out with somebody and let them watch you shoot. Let an experienced shooter, a good experienced shooter, somebody with a good grip on a gun and a, and a, and a, a powerful stance and a person who can hit center mass over and over and over again, uh, just almost without fail. Get somebody to watch you shoot until you're comfortably getting that gun up, getting it on target, getting it back down. Then, at home, or wherever you need to do this, make sure you do it safely in a room that's cleared, free of ammo, gun with the magazine out, verified by looking at it. Make sure that gun is cleared in a safe place where you can pull the trigger in a safe direction and learn to just pick up that gun. Make sure you're picking that gun up over and over again. Over and over again. Picking it up. Do it with the other hand. Then racking the slide. Over and over again. That finger down the side. Finger down the side. And watch this. Practicing. Racking the slide. Firing. Finger off the trigger. I don't have to think going from racking, firing, finger to the side. I don't have to think about that. Why? Because I've done that thousands of times. When those things are put together, the shooting, the practice, the finger down the side, the racking, the firing, the racking, the firing, the racking, the firing, the gun down, gun in the holster, coming out of the holster the way it's supposed to, coming out of the holster, finger down the side, over and over and over again, hundreds of times, when those things all come together, you and anybody else is ready to carry their gun. That's what it takes. How long does it take to do all that? Well, it can take as short as you know, three weeks or so if somebody just does it and does it and does it and does it. If they, have that, if they have the amount of time throughout the day to just do it and continue to do it throughout days, in the evenings, whenever they can get a hand, their hands on a gun, just do it and do it and do it until it's second nature, all this. It can take three weeks, it can take three months, it can take a year and a half <laughs> if, if people just fool around with it and don't do all these things. But the main thing is this, when this gun is on you, when this gun is on you, like this one is on me in an appendix position under my shirt, everything that you do up to the point of getting that gun on target and your finger on the trigger ready to fire should be second nature. There shouldn't have to be a thought process that goes through, what do I do here, 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 how do I do... No matter what you're doing, no matter where you are, no matter what scenario you're in, everything should be automatic. From reaching, pulling up, drawing, finger down the side, grip, finger off the trigger, on the trigger, fire. That's all done with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of repetitions of everything that I just talked about here. My prayer is that those of you out here, this is obviously, this is not for, <laughs> this is not for people who've been shooting for a long time, you're already doing all this, you've done this and you carry it and all this is second nature to you, but a lot of people see this, this channel uh, that are new shooters or inexperienced shooters or, or they don't get to shoot much. They, they have, have a gun but they don't carry it much, they're uncomfortable with it. You get comfortable with it by handling it over and over and over again, just like you saw me here. And of course this is going to be sitting down relaxing in a safe room just doing it over and over and over again. Drawing, 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 finger, concentrating that finger down the side and never, that should be 100% no matter what, 100% wherever that gun comes, that finger's down the side. If I'm picking it up, it's down the side. If I draw, if I, if I draw, rack, fire, that finger always comes back off that trigger and goes down the side of the gun. It is automatic. My prayer is that all of you who watch this will, if you haven't already, get to work and practice. Make everything that I just talked about second nature. Make sure you got that gun that's going to work for you. Get it holstered up and I pray that you'll be carrying a gun very soon. Because it doesn't take a long time 
to get used to this and to get it to where it is second nature. And then continue to practice it from time to time. You know, once you get this and it is that easy and it is that, it is that automatic, you don't have to do it every day. <laughs> Two or three times for an hour or so at a range or wherever you shoot every month will keep those skills sharp and will keep you in a condition where you can carry a gun and those automatic skills will be with you no matter what. So, I hope this will help some of you. I hope that you will get that gun out if you're not using it. If you have a gun, you haven't been using it or, or haven't broken it in or haven't learned to do all these things that I'm talking about and you haven't been carrying it, I pray that you'll get to work doing these things right here. Get it to where you're comfortable doing every one of those things. And note that that finger comes off that trigger 100% of the time if you're not ready to shoot. And I pray that you will be ready to carry your gun in a short time. So you can protect yourself from the monsters that are around us. I thank God for the freedoms of America. But those freedoms dictate that we exercise that Second Amendment and protect ourselves against the few monsters that can turn it all inside out with murderous rampages from these weapons that we have the freedom to own and use. Let me know what's going on with you down in the comments there. If you have any questions, uh, leave them down in the comments there. I, I'll do my best to answer questions if you have any. Uh, let us know your own experience. If you have if some kind of experience or some negative or positive in, in anything that you've done carrying or working with your guns, uh, let us know what they are. Your comments, your productive comments, your productive comments on your own experience are very valuable in these type posts and on this type channel. So please leave those type comments down below. And uh, like I said, if I, you need an answer from me, I'll do my best to give you an answer. If I don't have an answer to something, maybe somebody reading this will or, or seeing the video will have one for you. Uh, in any case, I pray that this will help you and you'll be carrying your gun in a short time. I'm Mark, and again, I'll see you very soon on another Christian Gun Owner video.